Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we'll look more on advanced use of ecosystem and a couple things what I want to show you in the beginning. So let's say I create a terrain. Okay, let's increase size of this terrain. Okay. And now on this terrain I want to put it some of my object. And let's go to load it object and let's load it um, tower it's tower from our merge card action available online if you want it or just test so i put it right here and the next what i want to do i want to create on this terrain the grass which is growing only around the tower because it's moisture collecting and all stuff in some ways how would you do before you select the um terrain and you click on the ecosystem painter or you go to your um, material create ecosystem and add uh, grass so let's go do this way plant we'll go to plant we'll select dry weeds we'll just click on paint tool and go to brush okay and when we have it brush we just start Kind of painting around maybe our tower. So let's go to preview this. We'll go to internal, render to screen 640. Okay, and here we can see, and it's work very well this case. But what's happened now um, when I'm done and I says, you know what? I kind of don't like the tower there. So I take my tower and I move maybe just other side. And here we have a problem. Now we did repaint again the um, grass right here. So here's a very excellent option to have it in uh, our uh, ecosystem. So let's go open. Now we'll go delete this layer. What I want to do, I want to create two ecosystem layers. So we create one, we click on default, create two, so two default. One on the bottom, first one. Let's call it tower. What we're going to do, we go to add, load object. And all that we do, we're just going and load it this one object. We don't need populate, so we'll just load it here. Next, what I want to do, is click on a paint. And here is two different. You can open ecosystem paint here, which will assign all your object to global system, or you can open from material, which is assign those um, to the, your object. You can switch back and forth, but if you do from here and it doesn't use the global system, it means when you use move your object, your ecosystem will assign to your object. So let's click paint. And here, what I want to do, I want to just click on a single instant. Okay, we'll select the city tower. You can have it more than one, you can have it many. On this case, you can select only selected items, okay? So we'll go, and we'll just click right here to select one tower. Next option, what I want to do, it is click on our select ecosystem instance. So let's select this one. We'll go over, so we select it. And now when we select this, we go to manipulate. So what this does, if you look right here, now we have it our normal um, widgets that we can actually scale, adjust our rotation properly. So we can reposition as we want it. Okay. Position here. Let me rotate so I can give you a little bit better. Okay, a little bit bigger. So you can position and you can kind of readjust in the way you want it. Okay, when you're done, we'll close this one. Now it's again with ecosystem. So what we're going to do next is go open our material, go to the first layer, 
let's call this grass. Okay. Let's go add plant. We'll select dry weed. Next, of course, I want to use it, our distribution and affinity with the layers. So we'll increase all the way. Click populate. So what's happening is notice it's will going around the building. It's actually more natural than just a paint. And by increasing affinity more, we can bring them closer. Because you can play with density, you can increase, decrease scale. And you will have it very natural. The best part of this, again, when you need to go, you go ahead, select, and have you noticed? It does remember what object we did select before. So it's very easy. All what you need to do, just click on select, and it will remember. You also can save and load your selection, which is provided you can have it multiple selection, just load them. Okay, we click again on manipulate. In a second, it will switch it to our widget. Now I can move it on different place. Can readjust again if I want it. Scale all the way down. Right here. Okay, when we're done, we go again to terrain. All what we need to do, click pop plate. Okay, oops, not paint, pop plate. And here you go, we have it now around our tower tower on new place. So you can do this one for your trees, you can do build around the buildings, around some other objects. In this case, the ecosystem will interact with this object. So it's kind of neat, very interesting trick you can use the round um, when you want to put it for other objects maybe and make it interact with the ecosystem layers. Of course you can interact with uh, uh, some other object around this. Okay. Um, okay. So here you can kind of manipulate with this. Let's load atmosphere. Okay. And I can render to the screen. Set final. And here is final image. In, in this tutorial, we will show you how to create your object interact with ecosystem uh, depend on affinity or some other effects and we actually in our next tutorial will look on more um, kind of even more advanced how we can man manipulate between objects to create even very realistic looking effect okay thanks for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com